Hey everybody, my name is Taylor Lay and I am obsessed with concrete. Today, we're going to answer a question from one of you, one of my viewers. We're going to talk about slump and water to cement ratio. A lot of people think that these two parameters are tied. They think when slump goes up, water to cement ratio goes up. When slump goes down, water to cement ratio goes down. We're going to show you today that that is not always the case. This question is from Chris Wanto. Is it possible to make a low water cement ratio concrete with high slump without admixture? And is it possible to make a two and a half inch slump concrete with a high water cement ratio? Is this possible? Well, Chris Wanto, you are in luck, brother. Well, I'm going to answer your second question and then I'll come back and answer your first question. First, to answer all these questions, we went into our lab and we made concrete. We've been making it anyway. We make it all the time for all kinds of different reasons. But here's some mixture that we looked at. And as you can see here, it's exactly what you traditionally expect. Water to cement ratio on the x-axis, slump on the y-axis. And as water to cement ratio went up, what does slump do? It goes up. This is exactly what he's talking about. But let's talk about if you change the aggregate gradation. So all these mixtures I'm about to show have the exact same mixture design on paper, but they're a little bit different. The gradations, the size distribution of the aggregates is different, and that will change the slump. For example, this mixture in the middle is a mixture that has about a six inch slump. It was right in the middle of the tarantula curve. Beautiful concrete mixture. However, we could reduce that slump if we wanted to, if that mixture happened to have high amounts of fine sand. Listen, this dropped it down to about a two inches of slump or high amounts of intermediate. This decreased it to about three inches of slump. So therefore this aggregation can impact it. This means you could have a high slump concrete, but then use these poor gradations to actually stiffen up your mixture. In this plot, we're showing water to cement ratio again on the x-axis, slump on the y, and the blue line is a mixture in the middle of the tarantula curve, 100% Portland cement. But if I have excessive fine aggregate, I could drop and the slump would be down here, it'd be zero at a 0.40, it would be about one and three quarters inch at a 0.45, and it would be just over two inches at a 0.50 water cement ratio. So I believe, in your question, you asked about about two and a half inches of slump or so. So with this, we could get up to about a 0.48-ish water to cement ratio, and that's still possible if I have excessive amounts of high sand. Now, let's say that's not good enough. Let's say you want to go to even higher water to cement ratio. Then you could make the gradation even worse. You could try to use excessive amounts of high intermediate as well. That might help drop you as well. So, yes, it is possible. The other question, is it possible to make a low water cement ratio concrete with a high slump without admixtures? Well, we're going to use this. We're going to look at using fly ash. We're going to take this same mixture that we've been talking about and mix it with fly ash. Now, fly ash are these small spherical particles that make your concrete more workable. And the answer is sometimes it does, but not all the time. Let me show you what I'm talking about. These are all mixtures that we did in our lab using 16 different fly ashes at a 20% replacement by mass of the cement. And what I'm showing you is the change in slump that happened. Some of these fly ashes actually reduced the slump of the concrete. Some of them didn't change it by much. Some of it increased it a lot. Not all fly ash is the same. It's not all about the shape of the particles. It's also about the size distribution. What this means is that on average, I could take a mixture with an average fly ash and it would increase it by about one inch. But if I used one of these special high slump fly ashes with just the right particle distribution for my cement, now I'm not saying that's practical, but I'm saying it's possible. If you have the right fly ash, you can jump your, your slump up quite a bit. And if you didn't, worry about just staying at 20%. If you're willing to go up to 40% fly ash, I think you can get as high as eight inches of slump in that concrete at a 0 0.40 water cement ratio. 
Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the questions. If you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. Forward this on to somebody else. Let other people know about it. Leave me a comment below. And of course, subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Bye.